morning. Okay, we're shifting gears here. Everyone will be tuned in, no doubt, to that interview tonight. Again, at 9 o'clock right here on Channel 5, the full interview. We've seen snippets of it throughout the last couple of days, but Ann Curry's full interview happening tonight on Dateline, Dateline 9 o'clock here on Channel 5. But switching subjects, new, su a new, new topic. You ready yeah, to dive into I this? I am so ready for this. This is a common skin problem that probably a lot of you can relate to pores, big pores. So by definition, a pore, a small opening in the skin, our skin has thousands of them, millions of them, all right? And they might be, they might be small but that opening invites in sweat, it invites in makeup, it builds up, and it causes a lot of problems with your skin. Yeah, guys normally don't think much about pores. They're just holes in your skin. I didn't realize until a few years ago that you're not supposed to have these big pores. It's actually healthier to not have them. So Dr. Steve Jepson is here. He says one of the most common questions he gets is people come in and saying, hey, I got pores. How do I get them smaller? What's the, what's the deal with the pores, right? But you know what? Guys are asking me that question, I think, more than women do because women kind of know what to do with their pores. They kind of are raised that way. But then all of a sudden, I have a lot of guys now that are more yeah. interested in that, too. Well, here was a surprise for me. You can shrink your pores, the size of them, right? You can shrink the so well, you can't. You can shrink the visible size of your pores. You're always going to have a pore there, and just like you talked about, pores just a little tiny tunnel in your skin that goes down to the sweat gland or the oil gland, and it needs to have an opening to get out to. You'll always have a pore there, but pores will get large for various reasons, and you can diminish the visible size of your pores. We've got a, an illustration of this: a yeah. pore that's going to start filling up with yeah. what? What does it fill up so, with? So you know, it fills up with dirt fills up with oil. For women, it fills up with makeup. Um, pollution in our environment. If we're outside a lot on a smoggy day, all that gunk can get on our pore. And you can see that as it fills up with all those little particles that the actual size of the tunnel increases. And then an opening increases as well. And so the pore becomes more and more visible on the outside. And as time goes on and as the years go on, that gets bigger. Now here you see kind of the, the yep, there it is. The cleansing solution is coming in. And when you clean out your pores effect, Effectively, it pulls all that stuff out. And did you notice how the tunnel then kind of closed down? All that, all that gunk got out of there, tunnel closed down, and then the visible size of the pore reduces. Now, here's what people are thinking as they saw that cleansing process. I wash my face every day. Soap and right. water, does that cut it? No. You, the, in large pores, the primary problem is that you are not cleaning those pores out well enough, and so you have to have a better cleansing regimen. We're going to talk about four different ways to cl clean out your pores. This is number one. Got to have a good cleansing regimen. Soap and water is not good enough because you need to wash your face twice a day to keep those pores clean. Soap's very harsh on your face, though. Soap's very drying, especially here in Utah, and especially in the winter where our climate's dry already anyway. So you just want to use a nice facial cleanser that's kind of designed for the more sensitive facial skin. Here's a picture of a couple that we have at our office from the Pella de Jovene line. You want to use a very good facial cleanser. You want to wash your face twice a day. You want to kind of get those, pore, get those pores clean with the cleanser. But secondly is exfoliation. You need to do an exfoliation step on a regular basis. I like to think of exfoliation as kind of the second cleansing step. Um, we talk about what an exfoliator is. An exfoliator, a good exfoliator is an acid, a skin acid, like a salicylic acid or a glycolic acid. If we know a lot about acid, you know that they dissolve things. Things. A good skin acid will get down into that pore and will help dissolve that material that's in there and kind of clean it out better than a cleanser can alone. And so if you do that at least once a day with a salicylic wash or use a glycolic gel a few times a week, that'll help additionally get that out. I like the visual the, of dissolving. Yeah, exactly. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've learned now that smaller pores are better. Big pores aren't as great they look better. Is it actually healthier for your skin to have the smaller pores? Yeah, because I think that an enlarged pore indicates that your skin's dirty, that your oil's not being cleaned out well enough, and that kind of is a, a, a precursor to acne. It's a precursor to, to oily skin. Your skin just looks better if your pores are cleaned out. Okay, the second tip you have for us is perhaps a home device. There's so many products oh, yeah. out there, though, on the market. What, what works, what doesn't? Well, when, we, when we talked about doing the segment, you asked me, well, what, what, what devices can we exactly, talk about? Yeah. And there's, I, my message is don't waste your money on a lot of those home devices that you that you hear about or read about. If you follow the cleansing and exfoliating steps, you're going to clean out your pores much more effectively than those devices with two exceptions. And I think they showed them before. The two exceptions are the Clarisonic brush, which actually uses the same technology as the, um, the Sonicare toothbrush does. It kind of sends out sonic waves into the pore and literally shakes that dirt out. And you see that it has kind of some, uh, some brush heads there that kind of with the cleanser additionally help Help cleanse the skin. So that's, I think my clients have really found benefit from using that. The second is Biore pads. I think women are more familiar with Biore pads than men are. I have one here. Um, and it's just a little pad that you put on your nose. It uses a little adhesive. It sticks on your nose for a little while. 
and then as you pull it out, that adhesive then pulls all the all the stuff out of your pore. Um, there's an example here. Those really work. Yeah, you're saying. these I've actually. I them. I thought they were just sort of a gimmick. Yeah, these actually these actually work. If you've used one, you put it on for a few minutes, let it kind of kind of sit in and pull it off, and it'll pull it'll pull stuff out of your pores. Okay, your third tip for shrinking pores is to visit an esthetician. And yeah. This is where your office comes into play. Well, yeah, estheticians are specialists in skin care that they've they've learned everything there is to learn about skin, and they can really help you with your pores. See an esthetician regularly. Get regular facials. Um, in this economy, if you can't afford to get regular facials, then get a microdermabrasion from time to time, or get a chemical peel from time to time. Those are kind of aggressive, more aggressive exfoliating steps that will help get the really deep dirt out of your pores. The last step you say is actually laser treatment. And what's yeah. that going to do that some of these other things aren't going to do? Laser is the most aggressive way to clean out your pores. There's lots of different kinds of lasers. Certain kinds of lasers can more aggressively dissolve that stuff from the middle of your pores, more aggressively exfoliate. Other lasers are actually very effective at using their heat to shrink that tunnel and shrink the pore physically at the same time as clearing it out. So laser is always the best and most aggressive way to clean out your pores, but it's not something you need to do daily. You have to do all of these things. And we have several different lasers. Oh, here's an example of a laser treatment in our office. That's our Active FX laser, which is very good at cleaning out pores, probably our best laser at cleaning out pores. We're having specials here in February, um, 20 to 50 percent off a lot of our laser treatments. So if you really want to aggressively go after your pores, laser is a good way. But I think that you kind of have to keep in mind this is a daily thing. If you want to keep your pores well, you have to take care of your skin on a daily basis. Cleanse and exfoliate. Be careful when you're using mechanical devices. Don't waste your money. Um, see an esthetician. Do some lasers. And can you overdo any of these? I don't think you can overdo any of these. Okay, okay. Just making sure. If you want more information, of course, you can call Dr. Jepson's office. They are there on hand. As you mentioned, you got some special discounts. If you have more questions or would like to schedule a consultation with Dr. Jepson, you can visit his website right there, utahlasermd.com. There really is a science to it, getting the, the skin there, and to know those benefits can come if you take care of, care of it properly. Yeah, for sure. All right, thanks so much, Dave.